Treating people in crisis like criminals. In Davidson County, at least 30 people struggling with mental illness are arrested every day. As News Channel 5 Sarah McCarthy explains, this is a problem that affects everyone from families and schools to police and taxpayers. When my son became seriously ill. As a parent whose son is schizophrenic, Paul Gianfrido struggles to understand why. Why do we arrest someone having a mental health crisis? Could you imagine putting them in cuffs and bringing them to the jail in order to have them evaluated for the stroke or a heart attack versus calling an ambulance? Why do we allow it to escalate that far? Gianfrido says the Florida school shooter is just the most recent example of systemic failure. What I cannot condone, what I cannot justify, it was the ongoing neglect of policymakers in the state of Florida and nationally. Gianfrido is one of dozens of mental health experts analyzing why we handcuff people who really need hospitals. So 100 people a day will go to jail in Nashville, will be arrested, taken off the streets, and of those 100 people, somewhere between 30 and 35 of those out of the 100 will be diagnosed mentally Ill, mentally Ill upon arrival. Nashville's new jail will include more than 60 beds for the mentally ill in a space set aside for behavioral health. Our goal is to never have law enforcement involved. It's a pre-arrest, pre-involvement uh, uh, intervention. Sheriff Hall knows new resources will be expensive but he's willing to slash his own budget if it means helping people the right way. The taxpayers give me $80 million a year. If I'm telling you 30% of those people don't belong here, take 30% of my money with it. He says there's no reason to ignore this problem anymore. No case for treating people in crisis like criminals. Reporting in Nashville, Sarah McCarthy, News Channel 5.